In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to add an Oyster card to an Apple Wallet in the UK and whether or not it is possible to do this. As you might be aware, a lot of public transit services allow you to add their card to a digital wallet. By doing this, you can now use your phone contactlessly when you board any sort of public transit and use the NFC capabilities on the device to pay for the ride contactlessly. You might be wondering if it is possible to do the same with an Oyster card linked to a Google Wallet, Samsung Wallet, or in the case of this video, more specifically, the Apple Wallet. Usually, the way we add cards into an Apple Wallet is by opening it up on any iOS device, tapping the plus sign at the top right corner of the screen, and on the menu where you can see all the options that you can add to the wallet, you will find the transit cards. However, what you will notice is that upon selecting transit cards, even though you can browse through different cards from all the regions in the world, the Oyster card is not going to be available. So as of today, is it possible to link our Oyster cards to an Apple Wallet, maybe through their app, maybe by our workaround inside of the Wallet app? Sadly, as it stands today and as you might expect, adding the Oyster card to an Apple Wallet is impossible. TFL does not allow the card to be linked to any digital wallets. And because of this, you cannot use your digital wallet to pay for the rides. You need your physical Oyster card if you have one. And if you have the contactless card and an Oyster account, you will have to use the proprietary app that they offer instead through the Play Store or the App Store. Adding the card to a digital wallet like the Apple Wallet as of today is impossible. If they ever address this in the future and update this functionality, you can follow the steps that I gave you in this video and then you will be able to link the Oyster card. But as it stands today, it is impossible. The purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation, but to let people be aware about the decision that TFL has made to make these cards not linkable to digital wallets. If this video cleared up any questions that you had, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.